If you were to make a map of space, what would it look like? This? This? Or maybe this? All of these images were released on April 25th by Gaia, the European Space Agency's mission that aims to chart 3D models of our galaxy. As a result, they've created the largest 3D star atlas our world has ever seen. Looking at it, you'll find planets, moons, asteroids, comets, and 1.7 billion stars. That's 700 million more celestial bodies than the catalog had in 2016 when Gaia first posted it. The galactic census, as they call it, was drawn after 22 months of sky charting with a billion pixel camera and two telescopes that can see beyond our own Milky Way galaxy. This involves an insane amount of precision. In the ESA press release, it was equated to human eyes spotting a coin lying on the surface of the moon. If that sounds impossible, that's because it is. But this intergalactic guide has ventured beyond the realm of what astronomers thought was feasible. According to Gaia scientist Anthony Brown, it's a huge leap forward. Let's take a closer look. You might recognize this image if you've ever seen the Milky Way on a clear night. From Earth, it looks like a bright band that stretches across the sky. But Gaia's map gives you the ability to zoom. And if you've never seen the Milky Way in person, well, if you have a computer, now you have the power to scroll across 100,000 light years of data. That glowing band of light across the middle is the galactic plane, a flattened disk where most of our celestial neighborhood is found. As you can probably imagine, the bright regions indicate the denser concentrations of bright stars, and the dark regions display areas with less. The two bright areas in the lower right are Magellanic Clouds, two dwarf galaxies that orbit the Milky Way. Other areas show groupings of stars held together by gravity. Sometimes these are globular clusters, but sometimes they show other galaxies, which give us a glimpse into places that might contain solar systems beyond our own. These are known as extrasolar regions, and they've been especially helpful in progressing the field of astrobiology in the past 25 years. That's part of the reason why this catalog is so important. It provides more information than we've ever had before when it comes to understanding the motion and composition of the universe beyond our planet. Astronomers can use it to study how the cosmos moves, hypothesize how the galaxy formed, and search for new planets. It's also found 14,000 asteroids, which helps astronomers track their trajectory. Perhaps the best thing about the data is that it's released to the public. According to the ESA's Twitter account, the catalog already had 3,000 downloads within hours of being published online. The Gaia data made headlines across more than just astronomy publications. The Verge called it the largest radial velocity survey ever conducted. CNET explained that it's a catalog of not fashion, but stars. And a piece in Quartz started with this phrase, Sometimes you know exactly what you're going to see, and it still blows your mind. I found it somewhere else, though. Two days after the map was released, it appeared in a Vox piece by science reporter Brian Resnick. The article discussed the importance of the new atlas, but it touched on one similar project as well, the Sloan Digital Sky Survey 3 of 2016. This catalog covers way more distance than the Gaia mission, but the trade-off is that it's much less detailed. It charts a total of 1.2 million galaxies in three different dimensions. You're looking at 1 20th of the night sky here, what Vox described as a mere pinprick of a window into the universe. If every little dot you see on the Gaia map is a star, every little dot on this Sloan map is a galaxy. Like most scientific findings, you've got to figure out if you can trust it. Gaia is certainly a reputable source created by the European Space Agency in 2013. They're basically the European NASA. But if you're still skeptical, realize that the project was completed by 450 scientists and engineers. As for the original Vox article, it's also pretty credible. As a publication, Vox's stories go through rounds of fact-checking before they're published online. And the specific author, Brian Resnick, is also very familiar with what he's talking about. He's written a lot of different topics relating to astrobiology, from analysis of Stephen Hawking's final papers, to the fact that most black holes are illustrations, to his argument that Pluto will always be a planet. Since the project's launch in 2016, it's already made a massive impact on the astrological community. Scientists have used the map to create a version of what's known as the Hertzsprung-Russell diagram, a chart that can help us understand how galaxies evolve in the first place. In addition, Gaia's catalog can teach us more about areas of space we thought we knew. In this way, astronomers have discovered new and exciting features about the sun. Whether or not you find this galactic census interesting, you've got to admit that it's ambitious. 
the ESA is hoping to collect data on 2 billion stars by 2022. That's a lot of space. But compared to the entire stellar population as we know it, it's only 1%. So if this map makes you feel small, well, that's because you are.